goldfish. A fish that you can win by hitting them in the head with a ping pong ball, or you can buy them to take home and feed to your other fish. Yeah, these are the most popular fish in the hobby. It's kind of sad because these fish are everywhere and people don't know a whole lot about them, but today I'm gonna try to change that. We're gonna play a fun little game of goldfish, true or false, and I'm gonna do it while I do a water change. I just turned the filter off. I got my big old trash can over here. It's what I'm gonna use to, uh, to start off my water change here. The goldfish are hungry. They don't like me messing around in the tank. Goldfish can live in a bowl. Uh, as much as it's gonna pain a lot of you to hear me say this, uh, this is true. But it could actually be said that any fish can live in a bowl. I mean, think about it. You've got a vessel of water and fish live in the water. You could put your fish in there and it could survive. Is that a good thing? No. Uh, and with goldfish in particular, these are fish that produce a ton of waste. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see coming up through this tube right here, but it's gonna be a lot because these fish produce a, a, an unbelievable amount of waste. So if you're somebody that has a fish bowl and you're gonna do water changes every single day, I guess, I guess you could keep a goldfish in there. But I really hope that it's a 75 gallon bowl. I hope it's not a stupid little fish bowl that you bought off the counter at Walmart that you used to use as a vase and you're now putting your precious goldfish in there. I hope that's not what's happening, but could it survive? Yes. Should you do it? No. Koi and goldfish are the same. I don't know how to answer this one. I'm gonna say it's true, but only kind of. See, it's almost like talking about plecos and catfish. Plecos are a catfish, but are they the same as a red tail catfish? No. Are they the same as a tiger shovel nose catfish? No, but they're all catfish. So it, it, even Cory cats are, this, are catfish, but you know, they're very, very different from each other. Goldfish and koi are both from the carp family. They were both bred from that, but they're definitely not the same. They, they grow up in different environments. They can thrive in different environments and the koi will last a lot longer. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. And you don't see too many fancy tail goldfish that are going for like 35 grand. And I don't know that they're having contests about goldfish. I think it's almost always koi. They are very different. We don't even really need to talk too much about the differences. Uh, they are different. You don't raise them the same way, but they're, they're from the same family. I don't know if that makes sense. Goldfish only have a memory of three seconds. Uh, this one I can't stand hearing. <laughs> this one drives me crazy because no, they don't have a memory of three seconds. And you know what? All you have to do is have goldfish for longer than three seconds before you'll realize that that is definitely not true. Case in point, I'll, pr I'll try to put some B-roll of me over this doing this. But when I walk up to this tank, these fish that are goldfish, they come up to the top because they know it's feeding time. They can't recognize, oh, that's John, the guy from KG Tropicals. They don't know anything about me. They don't know that it's me. They just know that it's a big blurry thing that's walking up to the tank, but they know when that happens that it's feeding time. So if they know it's feeding time and I feed these fish once a day, they must have a memory of at least 24 hours, right? So this whole idea that they only have a three second memory to me is just stupid. I don't know where it came from and I just, I don't wanna talk about it anymore. Goldfish can live for up to 30 years. This is another one that's kind of true, but it's also kind of not. See, everybody thinks that koi and goldfish are exactly the same, like we just talked about. Uh, they are from the same family, sure. And koi are the ones that can live they can outlive you. I mean, they can live forever. I mean, I've heard of them 
being over 30 years old, they're like horses. I mean, it's like a member of the family forever. But these kind of goldfish, your fancy tail goldfish and your arandas and, and all of those that you're gonna find at the pet store that don't cost $700 a piece, those fish, if they're kept properly and if they're kept in a perfect environment, which I, I hope this is, I don't know, I do my best, but if they're kept properly, they can live up to 15 years. I've never had them live 15 years. They are not the easiest fish in the world to keep, believe it or not. And that's contrary to what everybody thinks about these fish because they think they're just so easy. And at times they can be, but they can also be kind of fragile if their conditions aren't right. So if you want to get the longest life possible out of your goldfish, you got to do just as much work, if not more than a tank like this full of African cichlids because they are such huge waste producers. They're big eaters. They would eat all day long if I would feed them all day long and they would poop all day long. They'd be eating, pooping, eating, pooping. It would just be a constant circle. And with that comes more work, needing to do what I'm doing here today a lot more frequently. And if you do that, you can keep them for a very long time and they can live for up to 15 years. Koi, much longer than that, but let's be realistic probably gonna be more like seven or eight years if you're really lucky. I mean, for me, I think the longest I've ever had a goldfish was like four or five years. And to me, I thought that was pretty good uh, because they can be so finicky. But anyway, yeah, it's not true. Not all goldfish can live 30 years, but some of them can. Feeder fish are gross and should be banned from the aquarium industry. True. The little switch on my python is broken, so I have to put it in the water and then run to the bathroom, turn the water on, and then come back out. It's not a big deal, but it can be once it's full, because then you gotta run. I don't like running. Goldfish can survive in water that's below freezing and don't need a heater. True but let's not get carried away. So think about this. Okay, we've talked already about how koi and goldfish are related. So I think that when people see koi out in ponds, and as long as the pond is deep enough where the bottom of the pond doesn't freeze, the koi go down there and that's where they spend the winter and the top can freeze over. But as long as there's movement, as long as there's a, a, a hole in the ice where uh, you know oxygen can get into there, they can survive through that. I'm certainly no pond expert, but that's the way it's been shown to me and I've seen it in other videos and all that kind of stuff. So we all know that koi can survive through the winter, but what I'm gonna tell you is this, if you have fancy tails or you have arandas or ranchus or whatever fancy goldfish you have, if you put them out there and that pond freezes, uh, they're not gonna be very good for you in the spring when it thaws back out. Uh, so not all goldfish are gonna be that way. Uh, some of them can tolerate more than others. They all do very well in cooler water, which is nice if you're somebody that doesn't, you can't afford a, an aquarium heater or whatever it is, you don't believe in them, you heard horror stories, whatever, and you don't want heaters, goldfish are gonna be a great fish for you because they can be fine and, and actually they, they prefer cooler water. Uh, so for that, that's perfectly fine. But when it comes to freezing, you have to be careful with that. Comet goldfish, the ones that are feeders, which I think are absolutely beautiful and you should not feed them to other fish. Those can typically do well in ponds. But if they're going to freeze, if you live in like Minnesota, mm -mm, I don't know that any of them are going to be okay for you. But if you live in, you know, maybe uh, mid, the mid belt, or of the of the country, uh, which is a, a climate like I live in, where it, we get it gets cold, but it's not like ridiculous, like Minnesota or Michigan or North Dakota or something like that. We get a dusting of snow, you know, maybe once or twice in the winter. Occasionally, we'll get hit pretty hard, but usually it's pretty mild, uh, and and you're only below freezing a few days, maybe a couple of weeks out of the year. That's Virginia, by the way. 
I would be fine with a lot of these goldfish, particularly the comets, the kois and stuff like that. I don't, I will, I will not put these out there because I have two large aquariums in my house that house goldfish right now. In fact, we have a pond in the backyard. It's not a pond, it's a tub. Uh, so it's not below the ground. We brought our goldfish, five comet goldfish. We brought them in and we put them in a 125 gallon tank in our basement. That's how we handle those. Uh, we just think it's too risky, particularly with that tank being above ground the way it is. But if there was a lot of water movement and the pond was dug deep enough where they could go down deep for the winter, then I would be okay with it. I'd get nervous if there was a big freeze or a big snow, I would make sure I would go out there and bust it up to make sure that it doesn't completely freeze over because you block that oxygen, your fish in there are doomed. I don't care if they're koi, I don't care what they are, they're basically gonna freeze solid and they do not thaw out in the winter time. So basically what these goldfish do, I'm not a scientist and I'm not even a goldfish expert, but they basically their entire system slows down and they hibernate just like bears do. So they'll eat a lot, they'll store that food, their metabolism, their body, everything in them will slow down. They will hibernate through the winter. That's how they can get through without eating and all that kind of stuff. And then they wake up in the spring and they're like, yay, we're alive again, it's great. And our irresponsible owners didn't freeze us or feed us to other fish. You want to see a trick that'll blow your mind if you have multiple tanks and you use a python when you need to go tank to tank to tank you don't have to flick the switch just hold it up here and it'll it'll start filling up as long as you get to the next tank put it in there and you're good to go i don't know if you saw the air bubbles shooting out of the uh returns in this tank in the background uh it's because it was a little low on water so while i'm at it i'm gonna fill it up i did a water change in this tank last week so we're still good on that but anyway there you go hopefully now you know a few more things about goldfish and you've enjoyed this little journey with me if you have and you have a particular type of fish that you'd like to see a video like this done let me know down in the comment section below it's right down there below the like button and it's right next to the subscribe button. You might want to go ahead and click that too while you're down there. I don't know. I mean, it's free, whatever. Go ahead and do that. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.